Welcome to Total Bounty WordPress video tutorials. Total Bounty is a digital marketplace for buying and selling HTML templates, WordPress themes and plugins, and PSD files and graphics. Let's get started. Welcome back to part two of the Gravity Forum tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install and use a few of the great add-ons compatible with Gravity Forms. We'll see how you can use Gravity Forms to send form data to MailChimp, a great marketing service and autoresponder, as well as Salesforce, a customer relationship management website for managing leads. And if we have time, I'll go over the user registration add-on as well. So first let's look at MailChimp's integration with Gravity Forms. MailChimp is one of the leading email marketing tools around. It makes it easy for businesses to connect and interact with their clients through newsletters, online deals, campaigns, autoresponders, and also social media integration. There are even tools to help you track your progress. Okay, to install MailChimp, just go to the add-ons page of Gravity Forms and click install. Activate the plugin. Go over here to the left side panel and click Forms. And you're going to click on MailChimp. And then before you can actually start using MailChimp, so you're going to have to enter in your key. Click on MailChimp Settings. This is where you input your API key. To get your API key, go to MailChimp.com. Go to Account. Scroll down to API Keys and Authorize Apps. And this is the key you'll need. If you don't have one, all you have to do is press add a key. Go ahead and copy that key. Head on back over to MailChimp, paste, and save your settings. So now the MailChimp add-on is activated. But before we can actually start creating forms that are connected to MailChimp, we have to create an email list within MailChimp. To do that, just go back to MailChimp, click on lists, create your first list, and I'm going to create a newsletter for my visitors. Enter in a default name, a reply to email address, and a subject line. And remind them how they got in your email list. And then click Save. So now we've created our list. I'm going to click Done for now. I'm going to head back on over to our dashboard, come down and click on MailChimp. Click Add New. Now in the drop down menu you should see the list you just created. And you need to select a form. I created a contact form earlier using Gravity Forms. If you need a reminder on how to create forms, please see my first tutorial on Gravity Forms. So here are the MailChimp feed options. They're pretty straightforward. You'll need to associate the correct Gravity Form fields here on the right with the MailChimp fields on the left. So for email address, I'll put email, first name, last name. For opt-in condition, to create an opt-in condition, your form must have a drop-down checkbox or multiple choice field. When I created my contact form, I already put in a radio button with a yes or no option for subscribing to our newsletter. So now visitors will only be added to the newsletter if they click yes. You also have a double opt-in option as well as to send a welcome email. So I'll click that and then save. So that's really all there is to do to get MailChimp up and running. Now when someone fills out my contact form, if they select yes, their data will be sent to MailChimp and I'll be able to go to MailChimp, create campaigns, newsletters, and, and be better connected with my visitors. So now I'm going to show you Salesforce integration. Salesforce is a website that helps you and your team manage, research, pursue potential leads, and set aside less important leads. Say you had a website receiving hundreds of form submissions per day and you're having trouble filtering through the data pinpointing potential sales candidates. Salesforce could help you comb through those leads and even delegate leads to different departments of your team. Now Salesforce is not actually a supported add-on to Gravity Forms. However, we can achieve integration with a simple third-party plugin called Gravity Forms Salesforce Add-on. So go to your plugins page and click Add New. You're going to search for Salesforce. You're going to install Gravity Form Salesforce add-on. Press OK. Activate the plugin. And now there should be a new menu option when you click Forms here in the side panel. Click Salesforce. And then you're going to have to find and enter in your Salesforce OID, organization ID. To get your OID, log into salesforce.com. Click on your name. Click on Setup. In the left panel, Come down to Company Profile, 
click company information and here is your OID on the right go ahead and copy that paste it into this box and save your settings so now the plugin is set up if you scroll to the bottom you see a list of fields that are ready to go and have their data sent to Salesforce now I'm going to show you how to add a custom field if it's not on this list go over to Salesforce click on your name go to setup on the left click on customize click on leads and fields scroll down to the bottom and now you can add a new field here under lead custom fields and relationships I'm going to create a regular text field I'm just gonna make up a label favorite film max length 30 and that's really it click next and then save Scroll back to the bottom and make sure you note this API name right here because you're going to need it. Okay, let's go back to our dashboard. I'm going to use the form I created for MailChimp. Let's edit that form. I'm going to add in a new single line text. We're going to edit that. Let's name this favorite film. and under advanced tab under admin label you're gonna enter in the API we got from the Salesforce website now the great thing about this plugin is that it's so easy to use all you have to do is go up to form settings click on advanced and make sure you have enable Salesforce integration at the bottom here checked and now I'm gonna update this form head over to my blog and refresh and as you can see, it added a field at the bottom here called Favorite Film. I'll go ahead and enter in something, Lord the Rings, and submit. Essentially what we've done is when users submit forms, not only will their data be sent to Salesforce as a new lead, they'll also have the option of signing up for our newsletter and their data being sent to MailChimp. So now if I go back to Salesforce and scroll to the top, click on leads and go to unread leads here's my submission and here's my new lead with the custom field I added so the last thing I'm going to show you real quick is a user registration add-on with this add-on you can replace the default WordPress registration form and you can also integrate registration with your other forms you install like any other regular plugin go back to gravity forms click on user registration add new select a form I'm gonna use the same contact form and now all you have to do is make sure you have the required fields in your form so I would have to go back to my form and add a username field as well as a password field now when visitors use my contact form they'll be signed up for my newsletter their information will be sent to Salesforce and they have the option of registering for my blog Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. Visit the TotalBounty.com blog for more WordPress tips and tricks.